welcome back to another video. Today, I'm out with my wife, Rebecca, and we've parked up in the Page Bank car park. We are the, one, we're the only ones here. You literally go past the bridge if you're coming from Spennyway, then immediately you turn left and you're there. If you're coming from the other way, it's still easy to see. There's plenty of parking signs. You'll be able to get in. So we're going to turn right out of the car park. We're going to the we're going to follow the river upstream. Come out of the car park. We've turned right. We're going to head up towards Stanner's Farm. It's a, it's an alright little track. A few bits can be a bit boggy. So the plan today is we're going to start the page bank. We're going to head up past Stanner's Farm in towards Willington then when we get into Willington head up turn right then we're going to come back out of Willington back to the Page Bank circular walk it's not that far really easy we've passed the Sanners farm now it's not too far from the car park actually where you've just parked up at Page Bank so your next stop is you're going to continue on this like farmers track and then you're going to head towards Jubilee Bridge and that's going to be your next point of interest here's some little advice for you just for when you're out hiking in the cold front so currently right now it's 2 degrees now when you're out it doesn't mean that you've got to get wrapped up to the eye walls because you've got to think to yourself when you start walking your heart's going to be beating faster your body's going to get warmed up so naturally you will get warmed up so what you're best off maybe is doing is laid be laid up so you've got your base layer wear fleece then the jacket and maybe take a thinner jacket I've got this little tiny stuff one in my bag because I'm wearing my rag today but I, I, we've only walked about a mile now if I get too warm I can always change it or take my hat off, take my snug off, cool down, let your body stay at a nice level but you don't want to get too hot because what'll happen is you'll get too hot you'll start sweating and with it being cold then your body's wet it's not a nice feeling when you come up to low field farm on the west map it looks like you have to go straight through it go veer off left, left of the farm, you go down this kind of muddy track here, it's not along with this muddy, you head down and then you would cut round the farm on the left hand side, just be careful you don't go over, because it is quite bad down here, obviously the bad weather affects areas worse than others, but you do come right next to the river, it's lovely. All right, close. Love it. Just before the Jubilee Bridge, you'll come to the bend in the river, and on the right hand side of the fence, you'll be able to see a gate. Now, this is an alternate route, so you could go through the gate and you head up into Wellington. It's just a bit of a shortcut, but you can go that way. I've never been that way before. I've always continued onto the bridge and then went up and went round. But you can go that way if you wanted to. We've come up to the Jubilee Bridge now, it's just behind us here. So the path goes just to the right hand side of this. So we're going to go onto the, the road path and then we're going to cut up into Willington and we'll go from there. When you get to Willington and you're at the Jubilee Bridge to the left. You've got parking, beautiful spot. So like I said, it is a circular walk. So you will be able to park here and continue on. You do exactly the same walk. So you'll find that walk up this hill here, it is quite steep. You can uh, see it better a bit slightly out of breath, which is done well. So at the top of the hill, you're gonna turn right. And you're gonna go back into the house and the state on the road. Then we get back to the public path. I'll show you the next point. We've turned right on that 
the main road and now you're cutting to Weir Valley View Estate. Continue along this road. I'll put the camera on so you can be able to see. There's a green to the left of us. You just continue on this and then when you come to the public path sign at the end, that's when you know you go down there and that's going to take you back towards Page Bank. We've walked along, as you can see here, the sign says byway to Page Bank, so it's just straight along that street. You don't veer off nowhere, it's straight, follow that same road, and I'll tell you what, the views open up here. Beautiful. We've took our time. I don't know exactly how far it is yet, but we'll soon find out at the end when I stop the old smartwatch. But so far, Betty's enjoyed it. The path from that big hill that we just went up. She told us off. But um, if you're wondering, because she went out the other day, better come here. If you're wondering what she's wearing, just there uh, if you're interested. So her boots are the uh, Cowmore Hot Rocks from Sports Direct. Uh, thick socks, because you need some proper hiking socks when you're out. What brand were you tight things? Leggings? Everlast. Everlast leggings. I think you could, they, they were like two, four, one or something like 26 pounds, something like that. And she's got a regatta coat. So it hasn't cost much. I think overall, I think she spent about £80 on everything that she needs. A bargain, really. So that's her done now. She's part of the hiking club. And that's the walk complete. So we started off at the car park. And we went straight along. And then at the end of this walk, we come out from this left hand, well, this right hand turn here, and then we'll be off left to the car park. Nice circular walk. There's only one really hard hill, and that's about it. Lots to see, lots of good views. But have you enjoyed it? Yeah. What was your hardest bit? The hill. <laughs> well, apart from that, has it been nice? Yeah. It's yeah. been nice and quiet. Well, if she enjoyed it, I'm pretty much sure that anyone else could enjoy it. But here we are, back at the car park. We're here. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like it and subscribe here. Can you share it? If you don't mind, share it. Let's get us about. And if you want to, watch some more videos in the corner here. See you later on.